Hey everyone, it's Misty. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. Today I have a little bit of a mini haul for you guys. I am going to share a few products that I have picked up recently, as well as I have an update on a product that I purchased about a month ago. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So let's just jump right in. I got some birthday money. It was my birthday, July 11th. Um, had a wonderful birthday, wonderful couple of weeks. Um, I got a massage for my birthday, went to dinner with my husband, did some shopping, and then my girlfriends took me out Saturday night. Um, we went shopping and dinner. I picked something up from Nordstrom, the Nordstrom sale while we were downtown. And uh, my son turned 21 a couple of days ago. So we've been celebrating with him this week. So July is just so much fun for my family. And we will be going to the beach soon. We're actually, we're gonna go to the beach tomorrow for the day. And then um, coming up, we have another like little beach trip planned. So I'm so excited. Like I said, July is just a wonderful month for us. So um, I have picked up a few things around my birthday while I've been shopping. So the first thing I got is something that Oh, it's kind of been a love-hate relationship for me. So I picked up the Coco Mademoiselle. Um, this is the Intense, and this is like the little travel size. So it looks like this. It looks like a lipstick, but it twists up. It's beautiful. And I love travel size things. So this is actually a Chanel lipstick. So you can kind of see like it's it looks like a lipstick, just a little bit bigger. Um, I love travel size things. I love having that option to throw it in my bag. Um, and I thought I'm gonna get the travel size version first. And then if I love it, love it, I'll just buy it, buy a bigger bottle. Um, I do love it. So let me explain my love hate with Coco Mademoiselle. So I, actually had the original, like the EDP version a few years ago, I purchased it and I liked it, but it didn't last on me. And there was just something about it that just, I don't know, it just wasn't my favorite. But I ended up actually falling in love with the um, Eau de Toilette version. It's lighter, there's less patchouli, it's more, it's fresher, it's like zingier, it's got citrus notes. Um, it's beautiful and I really do love it. Sometimes I love it more than I do others. Um, I don't know. It just kind of depends on my mood. It's like I'll spray it sometimes and then I'll just be like, eh, it doesn't smell. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but like I wore it the other day and I really loved it. I wore it to work. I got so many compliments on it. And then I was thinking that it just, I couldn't smell it anymore, but my girls were like, no, you can still smell it on you. It smells so good. I think I just go nose blind. I, I think I go nose blind to a lot of scents, but um, it is a beautiful fragrance. And it just got, got me interested in getting like the perfume version again, but I would not make the mistake and get the original version. So I started seeing a lot about this intense version. Um, and the one thing people said was that it was a little bit more sophisticated and a little bit sweeter because it adds notes of tonka bean and vanilla. And that sold me right there. So I love sweeter perfumes. And I think that's what I didn't love about the original Coco. Like it was a little bit too spicy. I don't know. Um, so anyways, I got this and I do love it. You guys, I really do. It is Coco Mademoiselle, but it is got a sweet note to it. It dries down sweet and soft. And I did see a few reviews. People were saying that it dries down and all you smell is kind of like this earthy patchouli note. But that doesn't, it doesn't smell that way on me. Like it dries down to a very soft, very sweet, like vanilla note. And I love that. But it still smells 
like you still know it's Coco Mademoiselle. Like you just know it, it's the DNA, it's unmistakable, but this is just so much better. Um, so if you've never seen how the little travel, um, you get three of like the little travel sizes and it just clicks in and then you can like twist it down. It's perfect. And then it comes with like two other ones to replace and then it's refillable. You can just purchase, the, you know, the refills for your travel size. I love that. I really, really do. Cause I love throwing perfume and my fragrances in my bag. And I just, I really love travel sizes. So this was perfect way to try it. I do love it. It's beautiful. Like I said, the DNA is there. It's unmistakable, but it's sweeter. Um, and I definitely think I will wear this a lot more than this one. And I do actually have the lotion as well. So this pairs so good with this. This, the lotion definitely is that more citrus kind of scent. Oh yeah, it's fr the fresh citrus note. I love the lotion, it smells really good. So this together is just, it's beautiful. So I am really glad I got it. It is pretty long lasting, so I love that. It's just like the original Coco, but like 100 times better. So that was definitely a good purchase. All right, the next thing I found, um, we I went to Marshalls and they had so many MAC lipsticks. Um, it was crazy. Like they had like 50 or 60 and they were all on sale for like, I think I got it for like $7.99. That's a good deal. It's like almost half off. Um, I think that's about the discount I get with my Mac pro cause I get like 40% I think with my Mac pro card. So I saw these, um, lipsticks and I had to have them favorites. One of them is a replacement for one that I just broke. So I'm, I'm so excited. So the first one I did end up getting is Hug Me. So this one I got for um, in like that Mother's Day gift set that I got around May. Um, it came with like um, Hug Me and there was like another, um, another one, another color. And I had never had Hug Me and I did not realize how much I love this color. It's so beautiful. It is the perfect, basic, go with anything color. It looks so good on my skin. It's so easy, you can just throw it on. You don't even need a mirror. I left this in my car. I don't know how I did it, but I left it in my car and it melted so bad. It was just, it was beyond fixing. And I was so upset about it. So when I saw this the other day, I had to have it. Um, and one more thing, I actually open the lipsticks while I'm still in the store when I'm like at Marshall's. I always open them and I make sure that they are untouched. And you can always tell if it's been, um, like you can tell when it's like brand new and you know nobody's touched it. So don't fear purchasing like makeup products there because you can, I mean, I don't like sit there and like sample anything ever, but I do open it and I do want to see that it's like brand new. Um, I think that that's my right to be able to make sure it's not used before I purchase it. So I got that one. I ended up finding Angel. This is an old color. I mean, this is one of like Max OG colors. I think this is like the Kim Kardashian color that like everybody bought back in the day. I do love this color. I especially love this color when I'm blonde. I really like pinks on myself when I am like, when I have lighter hair. So I remembered how much I used to love this on me. Um, this is very similar to Cream Cup, except Cream Cup is a little thicker and a little bit, obviously it's creamier because it's a cream sheen. This is a frost, but it's not frosty. Um, it's just a really good pink color, so. I love that one. The next one I ended up getting was Twig. Twig was one that I had in like a really tiny little baby bullet. Um, I don't know, I got like a gift set years ago and it came with like myrrh 
and um, what's the famous color everybody likes? Um, oh, it had myrrh. It's like the Kylie it, Jenner color. But Twig was like my favorite in that gift set. This is such a beautiful, I don't know, I love it during like the holidays because it's so pretty. And I want you to see, I have not touched this. So you can see how it's like brand new and how it's like shiny. That's how you like know like it's not touched. There's literally no fingerprints on it, it's brand new. Um, this color is just such a flattering color on me. Um, it's just so beautiful and I love it in the fall. It's just the prettiest like cranberry kind of color, but it's just so easy to wear and um, I just, I love it. I don't even know where the little baby one I had is. I think I actually used it all. So I was really happy to find, to find that one. Um, the next one that I have, I'm actually wearing it right now. It's called Bombshell. And this is like a really pretty, I would describe this as like, I don't know. It looks a little bit brighter on camera than it really is. It's just a really pretty, it's not a hot pink really, but it's kind of like a fruit punch kind of color. I don't know. It's so pretty. It just kind of like brightens up my face. I love the name of it, Bombshell. Um, it's really pretty. So this is a frost. Um, you can kind of see how it looks. It's not really frosty, but it does have this like, I don't know, it has like a certain sheen to it. I really like the frost and I think they actually kind of last and stay a good amount of time. So I do really love this color. And then the last color I ended up getting, I haven't opened it yet because I already have one that I'm working on. I'm almost done with it. But when I saw that I could get another one, I grabbed it. And this is Faux. So Faux is, yeah, I got it for $7.99 and it's regularly $13.50. I feel like they even went up more than that. So Faux is this perfect like muted paint color that has ever so slight kind of like hints of like violet in it or something um kind of purpley but not like purple it's just such a beautiful color um i love it I love it. It's so flattering. It's just the easiest color to wear. Like I said, I am already I already have one that I'm finishing up, but I was so happy to find it again because I really do love it. So, not that I needed any more lipstick, but I was glad to find all these colors. Like I said, the hug me I ruined. I was so glad to get it again. I love Angel. Haven't had that in years. The twig I love. This one, I was glad to get another one. And then the only one I hadn't had before was this color I'm wearing, um, Bombshell. And I love it. It's just a really pretty bright pink that is just, I don't know, it's not too pink, but it's just a little bit more something than, um, it's like the perfect like brighter pink because it's not too much, but it's just a little bit more than just like a baby pink, you know? So I love that. And then the next thing I got, so what I got from Nordstrom, I actually ended up getting that Too Faced um, Maximum Injection set. I think it was like 40 something. These are $30 by themselves. So it came in a set. One is the Lip Injection Extreme and one is the Maximum Plump. Honestly, I don't know the difference. They, they feel very similar. They they perform similarly, but these claim to be a, an instant and like a long-term plumper. And I have to say, I would agree with that. I do. Whenever I'm consistently using these, I can tell. And how I can tell is by my top lip because my bottom lip, it, it just, it don't need no help. Um, and my top lip's not thin by any means, but it's a lot thinner than my bottom lip. 
So I can always tell when I am using the, this because my top lip is definitely more plump. It kind of like lifts a little bit. So I really do love them. I like them by themselves. Sometimes I'll put them over my lip gloss. So I was really happy to find these um, because I, I do have one that I'm finishing up. Um, and I forgot how much I really like this. I really do, it feels good. I personally like the burn. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I actually really like how they feel. Um, they do smooth out my lips and I'll actually put it on before bed and when I wake up in the morning, my lips are actually really smooth. Um, so I do, I do think there is some magic in this. So I really like that. If you're like me, you're not gonna get like lip injections, but you don't mind just a little bit of a plump uh, especially for like if you just want it for like your top lip so good okay, and the last thing that I want to talk about is a new Bath and Body Works scent well new to me so a couple weeks ago Liz Cruz um, she has a channel on here I'll actually link it below um, she's one of my YouTube buddies she posted a scent of the day and it was this along with like another perfume she had mixed it with um, and I was so intrigued because, well, first of all, the bottle is like gorgeous. It's got like all these little bubble looking um, things all over it. It's so, so pretty, like an iridescent color. Um, I just love the bottle. Anyways, I looked up the notes and everything and I thought, I think I would really like that. So I found it on Amazon and I got it for 40 bucks. So I got, the fragrance mist, the shower gel, um, the body lotion, which is actually like still in the package. And then I got a body cream. So I think that's a really good deal. So basically they were all like $10 a piece. Um, anyways, I do love this scent. It's frosted jasmine petals, whipped vanilla, and mandarin blossom. So this scent actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it would actually pair really, really good with the cocoa Mademoiselle because the cocoa has like the Mandarin citrus notes um, as well as the vanilla now. Um, so I think this would actually work really nicely together. I haven't put them together yet, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. This smells like a really nice expensive perfume. Um, it is a light scent. It's definitely not like a heavy hitter. Um, I do have to kind of spray it often if I'm just wearing this, but I really do like it. When you pair it with the lotion or the body cream, it is, it definitely makes it a little bit longer lasting. So I love that, you guys. I don't know when this came out. It's, it's discontinued, but um, it is beautiful. It is a beautiful scent. So I'm so happy to have it. I'm so happy that I ended up finding it on Amazon. I always look on Amazon for retired scents and sometimes you can really get a good deal. Um, I wouldn't pay more than like what I paid for it, but I think it was a really good deal and I'm really happy I got it. All right, you guys, and the very last thing that I wanna talk about, it's an update on a product that I purchased about a month ago. It is from NARS, it's the Light Reflecting Foundation, and I'm in the shade M1.2 Patagonia. I love this foundation. I really, really do. It is, it is like the perfect foundation for me. Um, my skin is dry. I actually heard a lot of people say that this foundation um, was drying. I feel like I saw that in the reviews, but I don't find that at all. Um, I did notice the first time I wore it, I, I did put powder on and I didn't like that. It looked cakey. I don't powder it. The only powder that I put on is my Secret Brightening powder from Laura Mercier under my eyes. Um, but I just really, really like this foundation. I love the color of it. Um, I did, I do mix it with a little bit of like the tiniest bit of my Estee Lauder Futurist because this is a little bit darker um, and I am a little, you know, I have a little bit more color since it's the summer, but I think this will be like my perfect shade 
you know, even like as I'm getting lighter in the winter, if I'm not tanning or if I'm not out in the sun, um, I just love this. I love it. So I have drier skin, um, and it works perfect for me. So it's just, it's just like, I don't know. Okay. So how I judge a foundation is I do like a little bit of coverage, but I don't necessarily want it to look like a mask. You can kind of still see a little bit of my freckles, but for the most part, it's just smooth and like, um, it's even, it evens my skin like really good. And then I always look like right here. I don't like, um, you know, a foundation to like sit and really accentuate my lines. Um, and it doesn't do that. And it doesn't like accentuate my pores. I don't have super big pores, but if there's any part of my face I don't love, it's just like right here. But this is really good. I, I really do like it. I have been just so happy with it. Um, it's a really great foundation. So that is definitely, it's always nice when you, if you get a foundation and you're, you know, it's new and you're trying it for the first time, it's a gamble because you obviously you don't know like what it's going to do on your skin. I could have gotten a sample of it, but I don't know. It's just easier. It was just easier for me just to buy it, you know, but I do love it. I love it so much. So anyways, you guys, that is it for me. That was not a whole lot of, you know, a whole lot of things, but, um, a few things. I do have like one more like birthday surprise on the way if I get it and I love it. I will share it with you guys. Um, but anyways, that's it. I hope you all are having a beautiful week. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.